In this video, we're going to show you the basics of arranging pieces on an avatar and stitching. To start, we need to import an avatar. To import an avatar, we go to the Resources tabs and click 3D. In the Avatar section, we click the plus icon, then Import. A file explorer window is displayed, and we go to where the avatar file cube.vsa is located. We select the file and click Open, and a message is displayed confirming the avatar has been imported. The avatar is displayed on the Resources tabs with all our other avatars. Let's take a quick look around. We're going to have the blue side as the front of the avatar. Now, let's open the garment. We go to the main menu, click File, then Open. A file explorer window is displayed, and we go to where the garment file cube.bw is located. We select the file and click Open, and the garment is loaded. What we see in the 2D window are square pattern pieces of different colors. The first thing that we're going to do is to understand which fabrics need to go where. We need to look at the top of the cube. To do this, we use Look At mode. We right-click on the avatar, then click Look At. Now we can move 360 degrees around the avatar. Let's go back to our normal navigation. To help us arrange the pattern pieces correctly, we're going to lay them out in the 2D window. The blue is at the front, the red is at the top. To our left side, we put the green, this is the avatar's right side. To our right side, we put the yellow, this is the avatar's left side. The back side is orange. Now we can move on to Arrange mode. We go to the main toolbar and click Arrange. The 2D window now displays different views of a figure, front, back, left, and right, onto which we are going to arrange the appropriate pattern pieces. First, we'll put the front pattern piece on the front view. Having done that, we go back to the main toolbar and click Prepare. This allows us to see the pattern pieces in the 3D window. Here, we can adjust the location of the pattern pieces to get the best fit. Note that if we move the pattern piece in the 2D window, it also moves in the 3D window. Looking from the side, we can see some space between the avatar and the pattern piece, so let's adjust that to improve the fit. We can, if we want to, move the pattern piece in all sorts of ways. If we make a mistake, it's easy to go back. Now, let's arrange the back piece. We go to the 2D window and drag the back piece to the back figure. We go to the 3D window and look at the fit. We can improve this by moving the piece closer to the avatar. We'll continue to arrange our pieces and drag the green piece to the right figure. We go to the 3D window and look at the fit. Again, we can improve this. To check the piece position, it's recommended to check different camera views since the fit can look different in each one. We go to the 2D window and drag the yellow piece to the left figure and adjust the fit in the 3D window. Moving on to the top piece, we'll switch to Look At mode. Then we go to the 2D window and drag the red piece to the shoulders of the front figure. This placement is slightly trickier than the others. We want to avoid putting the pattern piece on the neck or the arm. If that happens, the software automatically sets it to be curved, as you can see in the 3D window. Instead, we must arrange the piece on the shoulders because the shoulder cluster arranges the piece so that it is parallel to the ground. We adjust the fit in the 3D window. We finished using the Arrange mode. To exit this mode, we go to the main toolbar and click Arrange. Now, let's move on to the stitching. You can stitch in the 2D or the 3D window. And for this video, we are working in the 3D window. To start, we go to the main toolbar and click Stitch. To stitch two edges, we only need to click on them. Note that when we position the cursor, the stitch direction is shown. This helps us make sure that the stitching matches direction on both sides. We go round the cube and stitch all the pieces to one another. In this case, it is easier to do the stitching while we're in look at mode. Once everything is stitched, we can look around and check everything is okay. Finally, we go up to the main toolbar and click Dress to give us a view of how the garment drapes on the avatar. 
And that's how to arrange pattern pieces and stitch them. For more